Hi everyone, welcome back to Bird Feed for Operation Christmas Child Shoebox Inspiration. Today I have an awesome soccer box to share with you. This is the fourth and last soccer box that I'll be putting together this year, but this one is packed with an abundance of love because it's packed almost entirely by viewer generosity and I wanted to share what their gifts of love will look like to the 10 to 14 year old boy who will be blessed with this special box. So let's take a look at what this one looks like. I decorated the inside of the lid with some simple clip art with a soccer ball that says goal and when he looks into his box that's what he'll see. The first thing he'll likely pull out of his box is his soccer ball which was generously donated by Denise L along with this sharpie marker so he can write his name on his ball. This is a Champion Sports Viper soccer ball from Amazon and it's a really nice one. Let's see if I can get it into the shape of a soccer ball again. So that's for starters. I slipped inside this box a really cute plush beanie baby. This is Canyon the Cougar. Isn't he cute? Hopefully he can give this boy a little bit of comfort if he needs it. He's got a bag of 50 marbles and a shooter. Just some basic marbles. And I made the drawstring bag out of some sports ball fabric. You were probably wondering what this was on top when you saw it. It's a fun little finger soccer ball game. This came out of a box of Valentine's gummies. It was a heart-shaped box filled with gummies. This was inside. I got the gummies and he gets the toy. He's got a Domino's game in a nice wooden box. This set was contributed by Izzy. Because I'm using a slightly bigger box than I typically do, I was finally able to fit this water bottle inside. I've, I've had it since last year. Um, it, it was a uh, promotional water bottle, but it's a nice sized one. And inside the water bottle, I was able to fit his ball pump. The ball pump was contributed by Dawn P. And it came in a three pack of assorted colors. And each pump came with two nozzles and four needles. I love these, they're a great size. And it's really a good value for the three pumps and all the needles and nozzles. I also included a couple of skeins of paracord. These are 10 feet each, and these were contributed by a viewer, one who prefers to remain anonymous. The comb was contributed by an unknown viewer. He's got one of those ride-on Hot Wheels cars that actually holds the Legos figures. So I did put in three Legos figures. I don't know if we can see them all in here. One is a referee and two of them are soccer players. Also in here are a few dinosaurs. I think the rest of them are actually in the box. So I gave them a total of six contributed by Melanie Lewis. I put all his school supplies in here. He's got eight pencils. Four of them are soccer printed pencils. He's got a yellow highlighter, a multicolor leaded pencil, three pens in different colors, a couple of pencil sharpeners, and there's also an eraser in there, I believe, or those white block erasers. I also slipped in there some paper clips because I've given him some instructions to make paracord bracelets and the instructions require paper clips, so I wanted to make sure he had some. And then he's also got some googly eyes, and I think there's also a whistle which you can't see, and that's a metal whistle with a lanyard. 
so that's what's in his water bottle. Here are the rest of his dinos. So I guess I only had two in there. So they're just assorted cute dino dinosaurs that fit into some nooks and crannies. And another Hot Wheels car that looks kind of like a Jeep that fits the Legos figures. You can see the nodules on this one pretty well. He's also got a pair of seven inch scissors to add to his school supplies. These are from Joan. Let's get these more into the frame. Let me show you his outfit next. He's got one of those really nice Umbro athletic outfits that I got on walmart.com on clearance. I love these outfits. They are really nice. This one's an extra large size 14, 16, and it came in a two pack, two shirts and two shorts for seven something. I want to say like 750 or something like that. So uh, it was a fantastic deal and I bought several. And this is the coordinating shorts. I love this blue yellow combo color. And to coordinate with his outfit, I gave him a yellow sweatband contributed by Joan. She sent a pack of a dozen assorted colors. They're really nice quality. He's got a pair of Umbro socks to coordinate with his outfit and a couple pairs of boxer briefs through the loom in white and blue. He has a really nice pair of sunglasses in a really nice sunglass case contributed by Valerie Caron. And I used the space inside the sunglass case to add a few other things. The sports sunglasses are black and somewhat pliable. They bend some and then attached to them is a sports band contributed by Joan. So the glasses were from Valerie and the sports band from Joan. And also inside this case comes a cleaning cloth for the sunglasses. Then I used the extra space to fit a leather soccer bracelet from Shein.com a black and white paracord bracelet so he can get an idea of what he's making if he wants to make paracord bracelets out of that paracord I gave him. But I thought they worked well together. And three small bounce balls all in his sunglass case. I have so many favorites in this shoebox contributed by viewers. And they're like your kids. You can't really pick a favorite. You love them all. But this one is really special. Contributed by Jessica and the Foothills family. It is a beautiful cross necklace with a soccer pattern on one side. And on the other side, there's a verse. It says, I can do all things. Philippians 413 came on a really nice long chain, but then she also included a second chain just in case this one should break. So I think that is a beautiful gift for a young man. He's got one of those famous mesh pencil cases. This one's contributed by Angie for when his school supplies come out of that water bottle. A crank flashlight from the Dollar Tree. He's got a collapsible flying disc from Charlotte Arnott out of the UK. An emergency thermal blanket because he may need something to keep him warm in an emergency. He's got an appropriate drawstring backpack, a soccer ball shaped 
drawstring backpack. Th these are really nice, heavy quality. And this was contributed by Kit Nicole out of Canada. I gave him a soccer printed face mask. I have a few stragglers of these face masks left and I thought he might still be able to use it in his country. I still use mine from time to time. He's got a wallet size solar calculator contributed by Samantha L. And I leave these in the packaging to protect the buttons from being pressed so that save on the battery and um, he has information on the back that he he might need and then for a little creativity he's got a coloring book that includes a fidget spinner on the front and it comes as a pad of coloring pages 30 coloring pages and there's a lot of fun ones in here i think for a young boy very cool. This came from the Dollar Tree. A while back I found this at one particular store. I also gave him Color Your Own Sudoku. I love Sudoku puzzles. Good brain exercise. This one's a little bit different because each puzzle comes with a coloring page. So I think that could be fun for a young boy. He has a box of fine line markers contributed by Joan to color in his coloring pages. He's got a few more things to complete his school supplies, a college ruled spiral notebook, a ruler with inches and centimeters. He's got a fresh toothbrush with a cap and a toenail clipper with a grip on it. He's got a couple of little mending kits, which I think can come in handy, and some Tech Deck skateboard bandages. Both of these are from Joan. I can't forget stickers. I include stickers in all the boxes, every age and gender. I gave him 10 soccer stickers. These are from Shein.com and five basketball stickers also from Shein. Great place to find stickers for the older kids. I also gave him five trail bike stickers and five outer space stickers. Those are those skateboard type stickers. Then in the very bottom of the box are the instructions to make his paracord bracelet. And I picked these up, I think from Hobby Lobby. They were, they're free. It has instructions on how to make a single color bracelet and two tone bracelet with written and uh, illustrated instructions. He does need a clip, which I have to add to this box, um, but Joann's has them, and I'm gonna run up there and get some. And in case he doesn't want to make bracelets with that paracord, I gave him a laminated card of how to tie different knots. So that completes this love-filled soccer box that will bless a 10 to 14 year old boy. And thank you so much to all the generous viewers who contributed to this shoe box. You are a blessing. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you on Wednesday afternoon with my next video, Big Cats, which will be a collaboration with Denise from D. Rogers YouTube channel. I'll see you then.